Setting up your VCBox V3 Plus remote requires two main steps, initial pairing and programming TV controls. Let's start with the basics. First, you need to install two AAA batteries into your remote control. Make sure to insert them with the correct polarity as indicated inside the battery compartment. Next, during the initial VCBox setup, you'll see a pairing prompt on your TV screen. Press and hold both the OK button and the minus button simultaneously until the blue light on the remote starts flashing. To program your remote to control your TV's power, volume, and input functions, keep both remotes close together. Press and hold the power button on the VCBox remote until the light becomes solid, indicating programming mode is active. To exit programming mode, simply press any button on the outside of the remote. If you need to restart the pairing process, just restart your VCBox device and the pairing prompt will appear again. When your VCBox V3 Plus remote stops responding, the first troubleshooting step is to reset it. This simple process can resolve most connectivity issues. If resetting doesn't solve the problem, you may need to repair your remote. This involves accessing the system settings and following a specific pairing sequence. The VCBox V3 Plus remote includes advanced voice control capabilities. This feature requires proper Bluetooth pairing and can significantly enhance your navigation experience. For persistent issues, check these common solutions. Battery level affects both basic functions and voice control performance. For more complex issues, extensive online resources are available. YouTube tutorials and community forums provide detailed solutions for specific problems you may encounter.